What's up everyone? I'm Trey Baird. Let's walk and talk. How's everyone doing today? Today, this week, we are celebrating Jump Scare Week here at Swollen Thumb Entertainment. Being the holiday season of 2017, we are focused on Halloween at the moment and we are celebrating all things horror related. As a reminder, a jump scare is a scene in a horror movie where something will jump out at you, usually accompanied by a loud noise, in an intention to startle the viewer. This is what we're celebrating this week. You have been warned. And I decided for today's video, I wanted to do something a little less, a little different. Usually I focus my videos on my opinions. Today I wanted to do something a little more factual, a little more, you know, cold hard fact based. Making themes for each week has certainly caused me to think outside the box a little bit and to get outside of my comfort zone. <laughs> I had to come up with topics for each of the weeks and I thought, you know, it came to me. What movie has the most jump scares out of all the movies out there? So I did my research and I'm bringing the results to you in the form of this video blog. I'm getting my information from wheresthejump.com. So if you have an issue with this list, take it up with them. Of course, these things change on a daily basis, so just for reference, I got this information in September of 2017. So without any further ado, here we go. The top nine movies with the most jump scares. Number nine, Drag Me to Hell. So as I said, we're going to keep this video more factual base as opposed to opinion base. I'm sure I won't be able to keep all my opinions out of this, so let's just, as they say in Dragnet, just the facts. This movie came out in 2009 and was directed by Sam Raimi and received generally positive reviews. It stars a female loan officer who um, incurs the wrath of a gypsy who places a, a curse on her where she eventually will end up having to be, as the title says, dragged to hell to suffer for eternal damnation. It ranks at number 9 with 23 jump scares in total. Number 8, Annabelle Creation. So the original Annabelle was actually a Raggedy Ann doll, but they made it into something more sinister for the films. The Annabelle film series has come under a lot of criticism by people on the inter internet due to the fact that the um, character, the lead characters in question have been known to stretch some facts in order to market their services as paranormal investigators, at least as far as I understand the situation. The movie came out in the year 2017, this year, and was directed by David Sandberg. It ranks at number 8 on this list with 23 jump scares in total. Number 7, Insidious. So here's a movie that is, in my opinion, quite terrifying. One of the more scary horror movies, or thrillers, however you want to define it, to come out in the last several years. There's a shot in this film that gives me chills every time I see it, and it's of a, of a red devil looking guy in the background peering over a person's shoulder and you don't expect it, at least you don't expect it if you haven't had the film spoiled for you, that is. And I just love that scene. Hey, I told you I wouldn't be able to keep all my opinions out of this video. It is my video after all. Insidious came out in the year 2010, was directed by James Wan, and clocks in at number seven with 24 jump scares in total. Number six, Freddy vs. Jason. So here was a film that my entire generation was looking forward to. This was like the defining moment for kids my age. I knew that this film was going to be a hit. Apparently it surprised a lot of people in the industry, but come on man, Freddy Krueger versus Jason Voorhees? You gotta be kidding. You know, we were all looking forward to that. I happen to think it's one of the better films in both 
franchises. So I enjoy it. It's a slasher movie, but it's one of the few slasher movies that I genuinely enjoy. Freddy vs. Jason came out in 2003, was directed by Ronnie Yu, and clocks in at number six with 24 jump scares in total. Number five, The Haunting in Connecticut. Check this out. I feel like Justin Scarred drinking Mountain Dew while vlogging. What can I say? I'm a big proponent of copying your idols, and he's one of my biggest influences for doing video blogs. Anyway, The Haunting in Connecticut was really an interesting film. I found it to be pretty unnerving. And the cool thing about it is it had the guy who played Casey Jones from the original TMNT in it. And even though it's sad to see him balding, losing all of his hair, it's still pretty cool to see him play a pastor, a reverend, I should say, in this film. The Haunting in Connecticut came out in 2009, was directed by Peter Cornwell, and comes in at number five on this list with 26 jump scares in total. Number four, Evil Dead 2. So I gotta be honest with you, this one surprised me a little bit. Full disclosure, and I'm probably gonna catch a little bit of flack for this, but I'm not the biggest Evil Dead fan there is. I swear, I gotta be like the only person in my generation that doesn't love Evil Dead. I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't think it sucks or anything. I just think it's pretty much the most overrated thing in existence, at least as far as cinema goes. I think the sticking point is that if I'm watching a horror movie, I don't want to laugh. And that's what it is. I mean, the first one I understand is more horror than comedy. But, this, but you know, as each film goes on, each one gets more and more rooted in comedy. And that's really not my jam, even though I recognize the brilliance of the film. At any rate, Evil Dead 2 came out in 1987, was directed by Sam Raimi, and clocks in at number four with 27 jump scares in total. Number three, Paranormal Activity, The Ghost Dimension. So if you've seen one Paranormal Activity, you've pretty much seen them all. Yeah, they play around with gimmicks, you know, they try to change things up a little bit, but it's a pretty formulaic series. Which is kind of a shame because I happen to think the first Paranormal Activity was a much needed breath of fresh air for the horror genre. I'm a big fan. Paranormal Activity The Ghost Dimension came out in 2015, was directed by Gregory Plotkin, and comes at a number three on our list with 29 jump scares in total. Number two, Extraterrestrial. So here's a film that not many people know about because it kind of went under a lot of people's radar. Didn't receive very good reception from critics, which is probably why most people don't know about it. Extraterrestrial is a 2014 horror slash science fiction movie that generally got mixed reviews and was considered to be a not very good film. Perhaps that's why it's so high on my list. Perhaps it had something to compensate for with all of the jump scares. I don't know. I haven't seen it. Number one, The Haunting in Connecticut 2, Ghosts of Georgia. So here we have the only example of two films in the same series being on the list. So you learned something today and I learned something today. The Haunting in Connecticut happens to be the most jump scariest film series there is. It's not Nightmare on Elm Street, it's not Friday the 13th, it's not Halloween, it's not any of the film series you would have predicted. It's a haunting in Connecticut. Go figure. Pretty remarkable for a film series that a lot of people wouldn't even consider to be horror. A lot of people would consider it to be psychological thriller. And with that, our list comes to a finish. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.